what's going on good morning uh, or afternoon or evening dr lupo thanks for uh for jumping in if this is your first time on the youtube make sure you hit the sub button or don't i mean i don't care i'm not really that kind of guy to, to do those things but anyway i figured i should address all the stuff about turner and phase and and interactions with banks and i haven't really seen anything from other higher ups at phase uh so i'm only going to kind of talk about what I've seen on Twitter and YouTube and, and all that. Because there's been a couple of YouTube videos. Uh, Turner finally posted a response. We'll get to that too. Uh, before we go too much deeper, uh, I at least want to, uh, I want to, I want to address one thing super fast. And that is this. Uh, my tweet not long ago on the 20th. i the best for everyone involved in the lawsuit drama. Can't wait to hear what the tr truth ultimately is. And I can't. I'd rather see everyone move on from this without any friendships being lost. Post this because I am 100%. I'm not on anybody's side. I'm on everybody's side, if that makes any sense. Uh, I don't want to see anybody get hurt from this. I know that's a pipe dream, uh, but I'm, I'm not picking sides. I've known Turner for a while, uh, since back in the Destiny days, and, and through H1 and PUBG, and, and we played together then. He was on Rogue for a little while. Uh, and then he went to phase with with Fortnite and all that. You all know the whole timeline. But I've known I've known Turner for a while, um, and my interactions with Banks have always been really good, really positive. I've never had an issue with him. It's always been been kind of brotherly back and forth, that kind of thing. Uh, but I don't really have a, I don't have like a personal relationship necessarily. But they both have always been always struck me. They're just good dudes uh, as far as my interactions with them go. And ultimately, Turner's spite is that it, the whole thing is is towards phase as a whole, not just not just banks or anybody like that. Um, <clears throat> that being said, it's kind of an interesting situation that he finds himself in, uh, or everybody involved finds finds themselves in, because these sports contracts have been going on for quite a while. Uh, it's not like it's a new thing, um, but the way that this lawsuit came out is the phrasing behind it is very interesting. It's not anything that I've seen before as far as the 80-20% split, that kind of thing. And a lot of it is just uh, until the actual original contract is posted publicly, uh, we won't necessarily know what exactly the truth is, uh, what's really going on, and uh, you know where, where everybody's coming from. Uh, and ultimately, that actually... Turner posted this uh, not long ago, asking essentially for the contract to be released. Oh, what is up, guys? Um, be really short. And I'm going to mute it just so that there's no like oh, you issue just with YouTube or anything like that. Essentially, what he says is first and foremost, uh, he, he, he wants to cut out any of the stuff about uh, about drinking and, and forcing him to do stunts and stuff like that. That, that doesn't want that that's not going to be in there. He doesn't want that in there. And I'm going to pause it for just a second because that to me says um, that what came, I think it popped up on Hollywood Reporter first, that that whole thing doesn't feel like now it, it was, it, it for sure doesn't feel like it was coming from him. It feels like it was legalized from his lawyers and potentially somebody else. And I, I don't, I don't want to speculate about his relationship with with Dr. You know, Lupo. It's, it's not Karina. It's, it's Lupo, not. Man. You know, I, I I don't know. We don't know. That's the thing. We we don't know the truth about it. But this to me, to me feels like it's like a eh, I don't know if I want to go down that path kind of thing. Is a little bit of a backpedal because I don't think necessarily it was one hundred percent from him. Um, he goes on in the video basically to say, you know, sorry about that, but he feels like his situation because he was young. And things got to where they are now because he was kind of finessed to that point uh, when yeah, he was, yeah, I think he was 19 when he signed a contract with FaZe. And uh, that's a tough time. That's a tough age to sign something big like that, especially because his career was uh, starting to skyrocket simultaneously. And people have talked about whether or not it's because of FaZe that, that his channel blew up and his popularity exploded, or if it was because... It, he 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 just did really well. He he was crushing people in the community tournament event thing, you know, events, and uh, and the timing just lined up. There's a lot of different facets to it. I think ultimately, my opinion is that it is the culmination of all of those things. He signed a phase while he you know, and and that got him into uh, the uh, the Friday Fortnite events from Keemstar and 
all of that, all of those things simultaneously combined with really good strategizing from the people that were working with him, probably Banks with YouTube, you know, he, Banks talked about YouTube thumbnails and stuff in his, oh, you uh, just got more money. Uh, in his video that was, that was like 20 minutes long. I watched through all of it, uh, just to make sure that I understood everything that was going on there. But like all those different, all the different pieces culminated in Turner's career doing really well, which is great. Uh, I mean, success for anybody in the industry is always really, really good. And, um, and I love to see, I love to see other people blow up is it's a really good feeling. Cause that means that things are still growing for the community as a whole. That's a positive thing. But with it came this like wave of, of kind of potentially, potentially shady stuff, um, and so Turner basically said, you know, release the contract. He wants he wants the original, the one that he's currently on, put out so that people can see it. Not the not the one that because uh, Faze was trying to trying to like reason out a new contract with him and and had uh, from what Banks said on Twitter last night. Let me pull it up too because this is kind of important as well. Um, offered a million dollars a year with zero percent split. Um, here, I'm, I got that one too. Boom, here you go. So, Turner, we offered you one million per year with zero percent splits across the board. The only de deliverable was your side was to represent phase claim. Um, this is great, but the bottom line is that the old contract, while it wasn't necessarily acted on, it could have been. Um, and we don't know what the actual percentages, the splits, all that stuff were before, other than. Turner's legal team, you know, pushed this this lawsuit and it included those numbers, which to me, I mean, if you're going to sue somebody, if you're going to go down the legal path, the numbers that are in there better be right. So I like it, as, as a lawyer, you're not going to lie. You know what I mean? There's no reason for them to, to BS that. So the numbers that he put in the in the, the lawsuit would have had to have been real. But FaZe also never Dr. Lupo acted on it. And FaZe, you gotta have to remember to FaZe more than just banks. But like this this contract, this is stupid. People seem to not understand how how much he is or is not making. That's a lot of money. Turner might have a lot of subs and might get, you know, tips and, and cheers and stuff in the channel. But that's a million dollars a year is still a million dollars a year. That is ridiculous. So that's a big offer, but I think ultimately what it came down, what it comes down to right now is Turner just doesn't want to be in the be in the contract anymore. He wants to be away from it, um, which is fine, but it also means going forward it's going to be very difficult for him if he ever wants to again. And we don't know if he does or he doesn't. If he ever wants to get on another esports team, if he wants to join another organization, uh, <laughs> that contract is going to be read over. A lot by a lot of different people to be 100% sure that there is not something else going on there and I kind of don't think that'll happen having said I don't know I can't see it in the future uh, if I could that'd be pretty sick if I saw it in the future right now I'd see the YouTube comment section typing a lot of smiles but I don't know if that's the truth or not we'll have to see uh, but it's it's just a situation that is, has grown very very complicated and ultimately what people want at this point is for the truth to come out. Like I said in, in that other tweet, I just want to, <clears throat> I want to know what the actual original contract says if any, if FaZe decides to release it. And, and Banks said he was going to. I haven't seen it anywhere. Um, kind of looked around. Uh, the last tweet, uh, which he even said himself was the last tweet, is right here. Uh, last tweet, our legal team is preparing everything. We will release the contract with all the context in the world when we can. Um, so it's it's going to come out, hopefully, if uh, if they stick to it. And it may or may not be a big turning point for esports organization, you know, if player contracts as a whole. Or it might just be a situation where we see a very scummy single contract and and this is not this is not reflective of everybody else. My experience with Rogue has always account. been fantastic. Um, that's 
that's the bottom line for me is that I, I have n I've never been in a situation like this where I feel like I've been taken adva advantage of by them. If I say no to something, they've always been like, no, that's fine. Okay. Um, and at the end of the day, <clears throat> I, think, I think the biggest thing for everybody to remember here, um, and actually, I want to see if I can find that tweet. Um, it was from uh, from Turner's brother. Here we go. Um, let me see if it's if there's there's a chain of them in here, but here let me let me pull this up super quick and see if I can find it. That way I don't roll across something. Uh, ridic ridiculous and put it up on YouTube. Um, Dr. Lupo! Here we go. It's Lupo, this is man. specifically the one that, that I was looking for. Um, Jack said, when the biggest gaming org recruits you as a 19 year old with no experience with contracts with no legal counsel, anyone would sign. Uh, this statement to me makes me think that now I don't know the truth, but this makes me think that the situation when the contract was signed was such that it was like banks or someone else don't know said Turner sign this and he was like well I'm, can I read it and they're like well here's the outline of it let's move on it was probably a very rushed thing um, because if, there, if if he says there's no legal counsel then that to me says that either Turner didn't have anybody around him to say hey you should probably have a lawyer read that oh, he didn't think himself to have a lawyer read that because he's 19 but I, you can't really that's not necessarily taking advantage of i mean the responsibility falls on turner to have had a lawyer to get somebody to look at it if if phase comes to you and this goes to everybody if you're ever looking to get into an esports organization or anything like that make sure even if you're 13 15 19 you have your parents around if your parents aren't around contact the lawyer and say i need you to look at this because it needs to get reviewed. It's not on. It's not on banks. It's not on Phase to 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 provide a lawyer to him to look through the contract. That would be that would be a biased situation anyway. It's on Turner to have a third party look at the contract in order to make sure everything is is squared away. So ultimately, for everybody, Turner signed the contract. I mean, that, the end. You know, it sucks. And I, I love them to death, but like the responsibility is responsibility is not on banks. It's not on phase. It's not on anybody up there to review the contract to make sure that it, there's not something scummy going on. If that's the case, which we don't know until it's it's out there, it's on it's on the people that are getting off the contract. So I do hope everybody finds their way out of this without any BS. Uh, I hope everybody, uh, I hope everything gets squared away appropriately, and I hope the truth comes out ultimately, uh, if that's the way that things need to go, because in the end, there's, it's legal stuff, it's not necessarily, uh, you know, not everybody's gonna understand it, there's already people that are just like jumping on board with, with one side or the other, and I'm like, that's not the smart way to do it, y'all gotta give some time to the tr for the truth to come out before we get uh before we go too much deeper into that, so there you go, um, if you're on, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, Smile. I appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see what comes out next. Thanks. You've got